Hey everyone, it's Jessie from Peach Manifesto, and today we are reviewing uh, Clear July Stamper Plate number 78. And this is the textures plate. Uh, so there is some double layer ones and some single layer ones. Uh, I was really wanting this one specifically for the denim um, and the brick a little bit as well. So uh, I thought I would start off. I've taken off the blue layer and I've given it a wipe with acetone and we're just get into it. I really wanted to start with that denim and I'm just going in with uh, Sally Hansen Set Sail and I just had some swatch sticks lying around and one happened to be a blue that I had extra kind of kicking around and so I thought I would try that one and Honestly, like I'm doing this real, real time speed. The rest will all be sped up. Uh, this was really nice. I think it gave a very good look. I could have gone with a lighter blue or maybe even a white for a little bit more washed out a denim look. And then I decided to go in with the Lucite. Um, this one I thought was really cool. Um, I was really excited to get this on. Now lining it up was a little bit tricky, but um, I think I did okay. I th sometimes it's just you like hesitate a little bit too much and uh, that's kind of what happened there. And I was a little bit off, but I th still think it gave a really, really nice look. Um, and once they're top coated, I'll show you them all at the end. They do turn out really good. So this is the brick. Um, I decided to do it over an orange. I have been slowly redoing my swatch sticks so that they're all the same size. So that's why there's like just lots of random kind of colors. So I even like the red just as it is. I think it looks pretty cool, but I decided to go in with a brown to kind of fill in um, the other spots. And I think it looks really good. I might have chosen some different colors, but I was kind of just working with what I had. I didn't want to do any extra sticks. And this is the marble one. I had tried this one once before off camera and I didn't like doing it the other way so I started with the one in the corner and then the one kind of towards the center and I liked the look of it better I felt I could line it up a little bit easier so um that's kind of my little tip on it and I don't know if you've noticed I did get the clear jelly stamper um sticky pad thing. Um, I've kind of changed my desk a bit and I needed a little bit more room and these are definitely very handy. So now with the wood plank, um, I do this twice. I'll show you me doing it twice. Um, I wasn't really happy with the way that this one turned out. Um, I think maybe I didn't really like the colors and it, but it had a little bit of a curve to it that I wasn't really loving. Um, I didn't quite get it lined up right so I go in again with some darker kind of nude wood tones <laughs> and try it again and I do like the way that it turned out a little bit better but this one is a bit tricky to kind of line up because you don't want to line everything directly up. You still want to have that wood grain so you have some of the color below peeking out. So you do have to think about some of these of how you're going to have your underneath color and what it's going to look like in the end. You kind of have to do some visualization, maybe some tests before you actually do it on somebody. But in the end, I do like the way it turned out. See, there is a teeny bit of a curve, but it's all right. And now on to the chain link fence, which I think is really cool. I did that with uh, captions silver and I think it turned out really good. So this is everything all together. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and we will see you all later. Bye bye.